wasila Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Walillahi alhamd Innal hamda nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruhu wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina min sayyiati a'malina wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan 'abduhu wa rasuluh ya ayyuhal ladzina amanu taqullaha حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما All praise and glory be to Allah Rabbul Alamin who is cherishing us, who is giving us every second of living, who is managing the whole universe with utmost scrutiny, strength, control and perfection. We seek his help and his forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah, with the evil of our souls and, and evil of all the shaitans and other activities. Whoever Allah guides will never be misguided. And whoever Allah wants to misguide can never be guided. O oh, you who have faith, O oh, you who have believed, fear Allah as it is his right to be feared and do not die except as Muslims. O oh, you who have believed, fear Allah and speak the upright words. He will correct your deeds and forgive your sins. Whoever obeys Allah and his messenger has won a tremendous victory. My dear brothers and sisters, our khutbah today is about enduring grief and hardship. The whole world is going through the difficulty and how to endure that as believers will inshallah try to give touch, some touch on it. How should we Muslims deal with suffering and grief? How should we comfort a friend or relative who is in distress? In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah Rabbul Alameen reminded us, Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu sta'inu bisswaburi wa sualah Inna allaha ma'assabiri Wala tafulu limayyu Talufi sabi lilla fi sabi lilla hi amwatum bal ahya u wala kila tashurun wala nabuluan nakum bi shayin min al khawfi wal juyu wa nak.
who when disaster strikes them they say indeed we belong to Allah and indeed to him we will return <coughs> those are the ones upon whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy and it is those who are rightly guided so how should we Muslims deal with suffering and grief Allah Rabbul Alami mentioned that oh you who have believed seek help through patience and prayer so indeed Allah is with the patient so here sabr or patience means what it doesn't means act inactivity or it doesn't mean not doing anything rather in Arab when the Quran was revealed on that particular society the word sabr didn't really show any weaknesses one of the poet for example Hatim Attai wrote a poem that we did sabr against those by holding with swords within our pains and struggles until they became quiet and stopped another poet also mentioned in that particular period when the Quran was revealed while riding on the strong horses the kings showed sabr or patience at the war field when all others lost their hopes so we get the meaning of sabr in the Quran almost 11 different types but I'll just pick selected one which is applicable to our lives to accept the incidents of our lives that cannot be explained by our limited knowledge to accept the incidents of our life that cannot be explained within our limited knowledge is actually sabr another definition from Quran is from Surah Ibrahim is that is stay patient against people's ridicule when people mocks me they put bad remarks tease give bully in workplace in schools and in other place in society then to stay patient is actually sabr when the oppressed forgives the oppressor that's amazing so when someone oppress you in the society in the family then if you forgive the oppressor it is nothing but patient from surah al araf not to hurry not to hurry for the result not to make hurry for the result wait until Allah's decision comes in is actually sabr from surah al kalam to stay firm and steady to stay firm and steady against the unfavorable or bad situation like this time is actually sabr surah al baqarah now the three things we need to consider the three things we need to consider while having the patience are first to face and to endure the pain and sufferings while having the patience second while struggling to change the condition do not sin do not make sin third while having patience do not go away from Allah's obedience so there are three things to consider during the time of sabr patience is that first we have to face and endure the pain and sufferings while having the patience second while struggling to change the condition so if we are in a bad condition we have to be patient we have to come and quit and we need to change the situation during that change of situation when we try to struggle then we should not sin we do not stay away from Allah's rules and regulations and obedience and third while having patience do not go away from Allah's obedience so one example can be suppose your son has high temperature now you we should pour water on his head but we do not do so only stay at the prayer mat and ask Allah's help this is not is meant by the word patience here or sabr here so what should be done basically according to that definition of patience is that we should give the best treatment to the son and at the same time we should ask Allah in prayer and with patience 
we are struggling to look for a job or business or opportunity so we should struggle we should strive hard and at the same time we should ask allah for help and allah rabbul alamin saying that wala nablu annakum bi shay'in min al khawfi wal ju'i wa naqsin min al amwali wa anfusi wa samarat wa bashir is sabirin and surely we test you with something of fear hunger loss of wealth and lives and fruits but give good glad tidings to the patient when it strikes us they say indeed we belong to allah and indeed to him we will return inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun so they are those on whom the blessings from allah and the mercy from allah are there and they are the ones that will receive the true guidance so from these verses we can see that in a muslim's life hardship and suffering should never come as a complete surprise in fact Allah promises us that some hardship as a certainty somewhere during our lifetime will happen it is a test of our iman our faith in Allah and we should not despair because there are lessons to be learned from every situation let us consider the situation of nabi ayub alayhi wasallam when uh, when the difficulty came in on prophet ayub alayhi wasallam Allah Rabbul Alamin is mentioning and remember when Ayub when he cried to his Lord truly distress has seized me but you are the most merciful of those that are merciful so we listened to him we removed the distress that was on him and we restored the people his people to him and doubled their number as a grace from ourselves and a thing for commemoration for all who serve us so to a believer good fortune and misfortune are merely two sides of the same coin of life although we do not welcome hardship in fact prophet sallam asked us to make the dua that oh allah stay away us from the hard trial the difficult trial we know that even in the life we live in the shadow of death in the peak of our prosperity we are just a few short distance away from poverty and in the prime of our good health illness can suddenly come prophet muhammad sallam mentioned reported from shuaib is that strange is the affair of the believer for those because there is good for him in every matter and there is not the case with anyone except the believer if he is happy if the believer is happy then he thanks to allah and thus there is good for him and if there is harm then he shows patience then he shows patience and thus this is also good for him anas bin malik <coughs> radhiyallahu anhu reported the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i am amazed by the believer verily allah doesn't decree allah doesn't decree anything for the believer except what is good for him so everything that happens to the mumin to the muslim to the believer is actually good for them now a hadith narrated by ibn abbas amazing hadith it's saying in fact then abdullah bin Ab- ibn abbas was very young child and prophet sallam gave him beautiful advice and it's a golden advice suitable for anyone remember allah in time of ease when there are good time remember allah then he will remember you in the time of distress what a amazing what a amazing consolation what a amazing statement from the merciful remember allah in times of ease then he will remember you in time of distress what hit you could not have missed you what missed you could not have hit you remember that victory comes with patience relief comes with affliction and ease comes with hardship remember that 
Victory comes with patience, relief comes with affliction, and ease comes with hardship. Aqulu qawli haza wa sakrullah innahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Assalatu wassalamu ala sayyidil mursaleen wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallim. Allah Rabbul Alameen gave us the first 10 days of Jul Hajj and yesterday we did the day of Arafah and all the Hajjis were praying, all the Muslims around the globe prayed during that time. We prayed all the duas, inshallah, I'll be finishing with some duas, inshallah. So inshallah, uh, we'll be praying for our young generation, uh, uh, young generation mainly, they are our main focus. We should sincerely ask dua for our young generation and for all the distressed people around the globe, uh, mainly who are affected in COVID and who are affected due to the financial situations around the world uh, due to the COVID. So may Allah, may Allah sincerely bless all of them. May Allah remove the distress. May Allah remove that disease completely away from us. So inshallah, we'll be finishing this khutbah with dua, we can, uh, we can start with that uh, durud, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Maulana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Maulana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallim rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina azaban nar subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin <coughs> allahumma amin allahumma innaka afuun karimun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni kulillahumma malikal mulki tu'til mulka man tasha'u wa tanzi'ul mulka mimman tasha'u wa tu'izzu man tasha'u wa tu'zillu man tasha'u biyadikal khair innaka ala kulli shay'in qadir Tulijun <laughs> Power to whom you will, O Rabbul Alameen. You take away power to whom you will. You honor whom you will. You do dishonor whom you will. In your hand, every goodness, O Rabbul Alameen. Indeed, you are the most powerful. How can we show the gratitude to you? Because you are continuously giving us blessings, O Allah. You are continuously giving us ability to show gratitude. Blessings comes from you, O Allah, and ability to express gratitude also comes from you. So how can we finish expressing our gratitude to you, O Rabbul Alameen? O Allah, give us good health, preserve good health, preserve the sight and hearing, O Rabbul Alameen. We seek refuge from disbelief, we seek refuge from poverty. We seek refuge from punishment of the grave. We seek refuge from hellfire. We ask your help by your honor, O Rabbul Alameen, and with our dishonor, O Rabbul Alameen. We ask your help by your power and our weaknesses. We ask your help by your independence and our full dependence on you. O Rabbul Alameen, please forgive all of us. Allahumma lakal hamdu lakal shukur. 
Allahumma lakal hamdu lakal syukur. Allahumma lakal hamdu lakal syukur. We let down our heads, we are zalimun. You have many slaves, but we don't have any Lord besides you. We ask your help like a poor man. We ask your help like an obedient servant. We ask your help like a horrified beggar. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, we seek refuge from difficulties. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, we seek refuge from bad fortune. We seek refuge from joy of enemies. We laid down our neck, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. We did shuzud. Our eyes cried, our heart hearts melted. We ask your pardon and safety for dunya and akhira. We ask your pardon and safety for our religion, for our family, from the affairs of this dunya and for property of Rabbul Alameen. We ask safety from the danger of the danger from front, back, right, left, or Rabbul Alameen. We seek refuge from bad and sudden death. We seek your love, the love of the people who loves you, make your love better than to our lives, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, give us opportunity to show gratitude to you, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. Include us among your righteous servant. Allahumma ghafir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, please give makfira, please give forgiveness to all the mu'min and mu'minat. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, bring the concept of oh, Rabbul Alameen, Ummah in our lives, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. Please remove all the divisions among the Muslims, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. Please unite, it, unite all of them, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. That's why we ask you, O oh, Rabbul Alameen, Allahumma ghafir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat. We sincerely ask the forgiveness of all the mu'min and mu'minat around the world in all time and in all ages. O Rabbul Alameen. We seek refuge from evil eye. We seek refuge from attack of animals. We seek refuge from accidents. We seek refuge from waswasa from shaitan. O Rabbul Alameen. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatau wa fil akhirati hasanatau wa kina azabanna. Rabbi rahamuhuma kama rabbayani sagheera. Rabbi rahamuhuma kama rabbayani sagheera. Rabbi rahamuhuma kama rabbayani sagheera. O Rabbul Alameen, the way our parents raised us, the way our parents loved us, O Rabbul Alameen, when they become old, O Rabbul Alameen, help them with, our, with your full help, O Rabbul Alameen, O Rabbul Alameen, if they are in cover, O Rabbul Alameen, fill the cover with lights, O Rabbul Alameen, Forgive them completely, O Rabbul Alameen. Give them complete peace, O Rabbul Alameen. And when they will raise up, O Rabbul Alameen, enter them into the highest place of Jannah to feed us, O Rabbul Alameen. O Rabbul Alameen, unite us with them, O Rabbul Alameen. Unite us with them, with our children, O Rabbul Alameen. O Rabbul Alameen, the relatives and all the friends who have died, O Rabbul Alameen, who have died, O Rabbul Alameen, fill their cover with light, fill their cover with nur, forgive them completely, O Rabbul Alameen. The people who have died due to this COVID, O Rabbul Alameen, count them as shuhada, O Rabbul Alameen, count them as martyr, the way Prophet Wasallam mentioned, O Rabbul Alameen, forgive them completely, O Rabbul Alameen, fill their grave with light, O Rabbul Alameen, Fill their grave with peace, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, please forgive all our Muslim brothers and sisters who left us, O oh, Rabbul Alameen, and who are leaving, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. Please accept all our du'as, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. Please accept all their du'as, O oh, Rabbul Alameen. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, please do not put any hatred in our hearts against other Muslim brothers and sisters, O Rabbul Alameen. Please do not put any hatred against other Muslims and brothers, irrespective of their group, 
irrespective of their race, irrespective of the nationality. Oh, Rabbul Alameen, as long as they say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, make our mind affection towards them, oh, Rabbul Alameen, make us united based on Kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. O oh, Rabbul Alameen, give us easy life, Rabbul Alameen, give us easy risk, oh, Rabbul Alameen, give us opportunity to see your face after our death, O oh, Rabbul Alameen, in the hereafter, O oh, Rabbul Alameen, give us death as a mu'min, enable us to say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, when we die, raise us on the day of judgment as in the row of Prophet Siddiq Saleh, Saleh Shuhada, O Rabbul Alameen. O Rabbul Alameen, make our next generation the keeper of Salah. Make them da'i, make them muhaddith, make them scholar, make them salihin, make them the people of repentance. O Rabbul Alameen, make them keeper of Salah, make them sincere of Salah, O Rabbul Alameen, make them sincerity in their hearts so that they can always do the prayer with their sincerity. And they, they take the Quran as their friend, as their ally, O Rabbul Alameen, O Rabbul Alameen, make the Quran as the light of our heart, O Rabbul Alameen, make the Quran as our friend, O Rabbul Alameen, O Rabbul Alameen, the way Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, on the day of judgment, some of the parents will be crowned with light because they taught their children the Quran, O Rabbul Alameen. Make, enable all of our parents to sincerely help them, help them to be the learner of Quran and help them to be learner of Quran, O Rabbul Alameen. Make the Quran the remover of our distress of life, O Rabbul Alameen. Make the Quran the remover of distress of our life, O Rabbul Alameen. O Rabbul Alameen, make our generation successful in both worlds. Make our generation the leaders of this world. And in hereafter, O Rabbul Alameen, keep them within the rank of Shahid Siddiq Salehin, O Rabbul Alameen. O Rabbul Alameen, make all of us successful to attain the Jannatul Firdas, O Rabbul Alameen. When we will raise up, O Rabbul Alameen, give us your shade of Arsh, O Rabbul Alameen. When we will raise up on the day of judgment, give us your shade of Arsh, O Rabbul Alameen. When there will be no shade but your shade, O Rabbul Alameen, give us the water from Hajre Kausar, O Rabbul Alameen. Give us the water from Kausar, O Rabbul Alameen. O Rabbul Alameen, enable us to quickly, O Rabbul Alameen, go through the pool, O Rabbul Alameen, to Cross the bridge, O Rabbul Alameen, in the twinkle of an eye, O Rabbul Alameen, and enter us with our family into the jan highest place of Jannatul Feddos, O Rabbul Alameen. <clears throat> o Rabbul Alameen, cause our children to obey in love their parents without rebellion, sin or error, O Rabbul Alameen, and without any di disrespect, O Rabbul Alameen. Ya Allah, help us raise our children well with high moral and firm ethics of righteousness that blesses them. And we, O oh Allah, I, we entrust you with our progeny for no trust is lost with you. We entrust you with clearing them of impediments, alignments and immorality. O oh Rabbul Alameen, O oh Rabbul Alameen, bless our children with a good share in this dunya in knowledge that leads to you in your obedience in character and love O oh, rabbul alamin elevate our children's status amongst others and grant them grant them successful positions that bring happiness plenty and wealth O oh, lord bless them with purity charity mercy helpfulness knowledge of you that they share with others O Rabbul Alameen, protect our children from humiliation and dishonor. Bring them joy that will make us happy. O Allah, bless their hearing, sight, and other blessings of health, intelligence, and character. O Allah, let our children and those entrusted to us in responsibility be proof for us on the day of judgment. O Rabbul Alameen, 
Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin bihaqq la ilaha illa Allah Muhammadur Rasulullah Eid Mubarak to all of you may Allah bring us happiness may Allah bring the happiness may Allah bestow us may Allah accept all our duas that we alhamdulillah did and may make may Allah make the Eid prosperous time and happy time inshallah for all of us okay please pray pray for all of us inshallah wa tawfiqillah billah واخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إذ مبارك